here at E.O. Wilson, what we're doing is trying to um, establish some native plants. We want this to be a totally native place, this E.O. Wilson Nature Center. Um, we're trying to bring back butterflies, moths, uh, other birds, anything that you know, needs the nectar and host plants. Yes, we're going to um, see if we can assemble a lot of volunteers because that's what it's going to take to uh, get rid of all the privet, uh, the tallow tree, you know, the popcorn tree, anything that's not a native here that's you know, crowding out our, our native plants. frog fruit, which feeds the bayon crescent and the white peacock butterfly. We've got um, gerardia for the buckeye butterfly. We've got native petunias, uh, stokes aster for nectar. We've got, oh gosh, so many uh, various native hibiscus. Um, what else is here, guys? Somebody Milkweed. Ah, milkweed. We're trying to bring monarchs back to brood, and we've seen passion one or flower. two in recent years. Passion flyer, of course, with the Gulf artillery butterflies. Um, the wildflowers you see right now, and the ones that are be common in the fall. We have so many more in the fall than we do in the spring. Um, all of those are nectar sources for various butterflies. I think it's the tropical milkweed. We've got about 60 plants at the shop. We're trying to find an area to plant those to try to help bring back the monarchs because like she said I've seen one in my lifetime and it just amazes me they're in abundance everywhere else but not in Bruton so we want to get them coming back along with all the other species it's that we can. It's uh, Butterflies of Alabama site on Facebook and we see people from all over uh, every county in Alabama, they've got zebra longwing, which is the uh, Florida state butterfly. You think that, you know, the closer to Florida, but I haven't seen a zebra longwing since I was in high school. Um, there are a lot of butterflies. I haven't seen a question mark or a comma. There's just so many that have disappeared from this area. I mean, I've, 40 years I've been interested in butterflies and I've just seen such a decline. It's really sad. Okay, this is a Gulf Fertility Caterpillar, and he's climbing up the milkweed because he, they've actually eaten all the passion flower vine. And we're trying as hard as we can to grow as much as we can, but it's never enough. The more you have, the more butterflies we have. And this is actually passion flower vine, but this little caterpillar, he's going to mow that down in no time. Hopefully he'll make it until he forms his chrysalis. This is our sensitive vine. Um, and it's really pretty. It has the pretty blooms. And then actually you can tell that it's a sensitive vine by touching it and see it going up. It just starts to fold up. But that is our sensitive vine. And see we have some more over here. Well, American Bloom looks at a lot of different uh, aspects of our city and um, trash for one thing. They could help just keep the litter down anytime it's possible. If they're walking, maybe pick up some. Um, just share ideas uh, from their own gardens, maybe. Um, we're always planting things in other parks and uh, on the bridges and everywhere you see. Um, if they wanted to contribute um, cuttings or anything, we, we like to plant every kind of flower we possibly can in places. We just want, as far as I'm concerned, you can't have too many flowers. We just want to try to bring back the native plants and trees. Um, I think it would be good for us, good for Bruton.